and oh, you guys, that was a manatee. Hey guys, welcome back to Professional Weekenders YouTube channel. Today we are here, Mark Weiland, and we've got a very special treat for you because we are going to explore the dome homes on our jet skis. So if you want to stick around, check it out, then come along. So let's go. What uh, boat ramp are we at? We are at the Goodland Park boat ramp. Right. It is a public boat ramp. There is a fee to pay to park. I believe it's five dollars. We're gonna go check that. All right, cool. Okay, we almost ready. Um, yeah, I think so. Okay. I would just like the uh, record to reflect. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Specifically, he's waiting on me to get ready. So, okay, it's fine. Parking is eight dollars. Eight dollars for parking. That's all day. Yep. All right. Well, until they close at eight, I believe. All right, till eight, it's eight p.m. Okay. Uh, it is ten to eleven right now. Five to eleven right now. So yeah, let's get these guys in the water. All right, guys. So uh, yeah, like Louis said, we are at Marco Island. Uh, we are going to head over to the dome houses and we will show you guys exactly what those look like. Um, it's actually pretty interesting and I'll have Louis tell you the story about it because he knows more about it than I do. Uh, we were actually here, I think, uh, right around New Year's Eve um, in 19, 20, 19 to 2020. Or no, sorry, 2020 to 2021. Uh, and it was super cool. Uh, there wasn't hardly anybody here and we found like this really cool like lagoon thing. Uh, so we're going to hopefully be able to find that island again, fingers crossed, that little lagoon section. Um, it was really a cool place to kind of just to sit and hang out for a few minutes and not have to be on the ski. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so we're super excited to be here, like I already said. Um, it does seem to be like a pretty high tide today, so Lewis hardly had to like get back the truck up at all. So um, we are almost ready. He just parked the truck, he'll jump on his ski, and then we will get to going. So stick with us. Hopefully we'll see some dolphins. Um, maybe we'll see some other cool fish. So yeah, more to come. And there's Lewis's ski. He just parked. Um, he should be joining us momentarily. And oh, you guys, that was a manatee. That was a manatee. Oh my gosh. I heard it breathe and then I saw it pop up. So hopefully maybe we'll see some manatees. I hope I caught that. Oh my gosh. That was so cool. Um, Lewis isn't going to believe me when I tell him I see a manatee. So yeah, we're tired of still thing around the Tampa Bay area. So we are, uh, we came south. Wow, that was so cool. All right, guys, so Lewis is putting his fenders away, and we are going to get ready to go in just any second. Um, yeah, that manatee was so cool. I haven't seen one in, in, in a long time. So, um, yeah, maybe they are more prevalent here in the south during the summer. I, have, I Okay, that's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to head out, head out uh, and we'll see you guys along with us. And uh, hopefully we'll, we'll be able to get some drone footage today, which I'm so excited about. And maybe we'll see some more wildlife. So, let's go. Get like Lewis with, with the finger. What's what? What's that? What's that? I mean, really. Alright guys, so these are the dome homes. It's really actually only one home. It was built by, uh, I think a millionaire, obviously. It's stupid expensive. Back in the 1970s or so, a while back. And the whole beach, this used to be on land, so the land is now way over there. The whole beach that this thing was sitting on has eroded, and now they are just out here in the water. And they're slowly falling apart. Um, I think there were six of these domes originally. Now you can see there's only four. Yeah, you know, I think there's talk about another one falling over here soon or or maybe one recently fell. I'm not entirely sure. But still pretty neat. Cool place to check out the jet skis. Instagram photos are bananas. The uh, birds really love it too. I remember last time we were here we went on the other side of it and it smelled like the penguins at the zoo. So be aware of that. But we're going to go over there and see if we can get a little bit closer look. Here are the dome houses. Um, it's pretty cool. There's a whole bunch of uh, pelicans around here and people do fish around here. So uh, yeah, um, it's a little high tide today. <laughs> Whenever we're here, 
here, so you're gonna head out. But um, super cool to see these, and I'm sure Lewis gave you guys all of the fun facts about the different houses. So yeah, pretty cool to see. Definitely like coming out here on uh, the jet skis, seeing the pelicans, and seeing what kind of fish we can see. Um, we were thinking about snorkeling here, but because there's a couple of boats that are fishing, probably not a best idea. Plus, we do need to get, I think Lewis said, diving flags. So um, maybe next time. But yeah, we think it's pretty cool. Yeah, so it's pretty cool, but they are unstable, so if you do want to check them out, you better probably get here within the next few years, maybe? Who knows how long these things are going to last, because uh, they do fall regularly. I know they've already lost a few. I'm not sure how many there were originally. I think it was six, but you can see now we're down to four, uh, and they're not going to last forever, that's for sure. And in case you guys didn't know, Joey was here. So, hi, Joey. All right, y'all, Lewis got jokes. So uh, we're, we're parked here at this little island. We're gonna take the drone up in a second. But without fail, he's just like, no, listen, honey, don't forget your key when you get off the jet ski because remember what happened the last time? It's right here, bro, it's right here. Video proof. <laughs> he's funny. All right, guys, so Lewis is gonna take the drone up. Um, as we were parking at this island, what we noticed right here, there are some of those uh, containers for uh, the turtles. So it looks like turtles have laid eggs here, potentially and we see a couple of them on the beach. So we are not gonna mess with those. We're gonna be very uh, careful to not disturb anything that's going on there. And yeah, just enjoy nature for what it is. You guys can see right there, that's where the dome houses were. That's where Lewis and I were talking about the history of that. And um, maybe one day we'll come back and we'll circle here. We do have our circling equipment with us, but because there's fishing and we don't have our dive legs, um, we're gonna be smart and I, only not smart, but be, uh, uh, be conscientious, let's say that, and uh, make sure that, you know, we, uh, we're not gonna do anything that could hurt us or get anybody in any kind of, uh, you know, dangerous situation. So, all right, so uh, we will input that drone footage right now. All right, guys, so we're gonna launch the drone here and hopefully get some cool footage for you. Bye, Sparky! Catch it or what? Watch, sweat, wash your hands. Good job, honey. There we go. It's like you've done this before. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we just saw some dolphins right over here. So hopefully they'll pop up again. Alright guys, that was the uh, Lagoon Island that I was telling y'all about earlier, but apparently during this time of the year, uh, it is a wildlife sanctuary and I think that has to do because of turtle nesting season. So so maybe when it's, you know, not, you know, uh, that time of the year for turtles to uh, to hatch and lay their eggs, or lay their eggs and hatch, um, maybe we can uh, check it out again. So yeah, kind of a bummer for today, but hey, you know, gotta do what we can for the turtles. All right guys, so we are heading back, oh, well, I guess we're not heading back. We are heading towards uh, San, or to, take two. We're heading to Marco Island. Uh, unfortunately, we can't swim here. Um, so we're going to head on over to maybe a new, a new beach and see uh, what we can find there. So, Speedy Boy is already gone. Gotta catch up. All right, y'all. It's a very windy day. <laughs> I uh, was facing the other direction about mm, four seconds ago. But here we are, we're in this little, um, I'm gonna call it an inlet for lack of a different term because we can get in from the uh, gulf over there, but it's not very deep. I don't know if you can get a boat through here and it is high tide right now. So uh, probably during low tide, you could, probably couldn't do it, but it is so pretty back here. However, I'm pretty sure, honey, this is where like the uh, crocodiles live. So yeah, I think so. I think, so. I think this is like the, farthest north the crocodiles are. Alright, so what did we learn about the crocodiles? Well, the map says they, they could 
possibly be here. Could possibly or yes, definitely. Possibly. I'm going to say could possibly is the new yes, definitely. Yeah, yes, definitely. Because <laughs> that means I'm right. Just saw some dolphins. Trying to pick them up again. All right, guys. So Lewis just said he saw, uh, whoop, I'm sorry, it's over. Uh, Lewis just said he saw uh, dolphins jump out of the water. So we're going to be on the lookout. See if we can see anything else. I know I say this like every time we see dolphins, but it never gets any less cool seeing these guys in the wild. I mean, I, I, I'm I at a level 10 every time I see them. Any kind of wildlife, like manatees, excited to see. Just anything in the wild is pretty cool. So we have stopped here on this really cute little sandbar thing. Um, I'm not gonna call it a sandbar, we're gonna call it a shell bar because those are all shells. Um, but in the background, you can see Marco Island. And in the foreground, you can see Lewis. Where did the fish go to get a drink? Where? God, why did I, you know, my husband. So honey. Oh no, <laughs> what just happened? My pineapple sprung a leak. We got a yeah. hole in it. After I blew it up, it was sinking. So only one pineapple today. Yeah. I got my pineapple, but I'll share. Cause I'm a nice wife. Yeah, we can switch, switch. Yeah. Look out, five O's coming to get you. Hello police. We are law-abiding citizens. Thank you much. And I heard about this rebel before. She's yeah. going too fast. <laughs> I get one warning. That's it. We're in the oh. database. I know. Hey, but I will link the video down below when I got pulled over by the, uh, the sheriff's department on my jet ski. That was that was interesting for sure. So. All right, guys. So we're in the water. We're gonna hang out. Poor Lewis. I don't know what you're gonna do, but well, you know, we can still swim around or lay on the beach. And yeah, circle. The main too. goal of this stop is to eat lunch. Oh, okay. So that's gonna happen. Look at that little fish. I don't know if you guys can see them, but they're so cool right there. over there and it's freaking me out. I'm gonna say it's a fish, but it's a big old fish. It's definitely a fish that make a lot of noise. All right guys, so here's your pro tips for jet skiing on Marco Island. I would say number one is wear shoes. Everything is very shelly out here. Don't cut your feet. Wear water shoes. All right, number two is when you do go to the dome houses, don't get too close because there is a lot of debris around the house in the water and you don't want to run into that. And number three, Sunscreen is your friend. Every time we go out here in Florida, you're gonna spend all day out here, get in the water, you're gonna get washed away, reapply. Or maybe get one of those rash cards. Christine's got a long sleeve one. I got a short sleeve one, but I think I wanna get a long sleeve one sometime soon. So those are your pro tips for Jet Ski and Mark Wyden. All right guys, we are leaving the Shelly Beach and we're gonna head back to the truck. Hopefully we'll see some cool things between here and there and we'll let you guys know what we find. So let's go.
All right, guys, so we are back at the boat dock. We were just going to go grab the truck and we're going to get this uh, skis back on the trailer. Um, but yeah, it was a really awesome day. We saw plenty of dolphins, so many fish, uh, tons of, well, not tons, a couple of manatees. And um, yeah, I really can't complain. So all in all, great day. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you like more of these, comment down below, give us a subscribe, give us a thumbs up, give us a like, so we know to keep doing things like this and showing you uh, the waterways of Florida. All right, so let's go. For final tips whenever you are loading a jet ski onto a trailer? Um, some pseudo pro tips, and not pseudo pro tips, they're still pro tips, some um, mm -hmm. bonus pro tips. I think the biggest one is just be courteous, don't take more time at the tra at the ramp than you uh -huh. need to. Yeah. You know, be quick and efficient. And mm -hmm. Don't load your gear, don't prep your boat, don't unprep your boat. Yeah. There's a staging area for all that. Yeah. So use the boat to literally just launch or retrieve. Use the staging area for like everything else. Like we're not gonna waste time throwing those fenders in. We're actually just gonna get the heck out of the way. So move out of the way and then we'll get the ratchet on and clean it up and all that. Yeah. So we have been to this boat ramp before. Um, it was, like I said, I think earlier, like end of December, start of January. And uh, I know the inside, like where the bait shop is, closes at two o'clock, but I wonder if the bathrooms are open. I wonder if I can rinse off, because that would be really nice, because we have a three hour drive back to Tampa, and I don't want to, you know, be salty. So maybe, we'll see. All right, and then there he goes. <laughs> That's, uh, I guess, you know, just out of the way because, uh, okay, so how, how this works is you pull in over the breadth of fence, you come around, you typically on the other side of the strip here, do your staging there, you whip it around, that's the boat ramp, you launch your boat, and then you pull forward. So once you retrieve your boat, you pull forward and you clean it up, do whatever you have to do over here, or you pull farther to the right where there is some more parking availability. All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for us today here in Marco Island at Goodland Boat Ramp. We're going to pack on up and get on out of here. So we'll see you next weekend. Who floats in a pineapple out in the sea? I do. It's my pineapple. That was my pineapple. Commandeered it. No, oh, okay.